So we're going to weigh this right now. 14, I think it is 14 karat gold. We're going to weigh it and see what it weighs on the scale. I got two words for you. What they call me. Promise that you'll never be lonely. Now we're going to finish up these trunks here. We were in a rush when we were moving this unit the other day. It was close to getting out of there. We actually left at 6.09. was supposed to be out of there at 6. So we didn't finish or even go in these boxes. What we didn't finish was this box. We opened it up. You see in the video, Michaela and I pulled out a few things. And we said, stop. Let's uh, take our time and do this a little better. Then we just didn't have time. So we put the items back in there. And now we're going to go through these and see if there's anything in there. If you remember, that unit was not exactly the most appealing. So I'm not sure if this is full of trash. If there's a, a dirty shirt in there, I'm not sure if there's... Uh, one time I found a Babe Ruth baseball in a trunk just like this. Got it authenticated, sold it for 8700 bucks in a unit that was actually completely gone through. It was only like eight boxes in a vault. But what could be in these? Trash or treasure? Trash or treasure? The eternal question. You just never know what you're going to get. <laughs> when I open up a trunk... This is the last thing that I think I'm gonna see in a trunk, is a piece of foam, a piece of dirty broken foam. A coaxial cable. Oh, I gotta take my glasses off for this. This is literally, I'm not even gonna exaggerate with you. That is like somebody's vacuum dust or something. No, that's just a bag of straight trash. Well, they was, I, it makes me wonder if they have like a, something buried in the trash they want to get like a diamond ring got stuff. No, that's wrap. Uh. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm just, I'm blown away. At least we got a rose. You know what they say about life. Sometimes you got to stop and smell the roses. Trunk number two. That's a, that's a bad sign. I get yelled at a lot when I get into trunks like this and I break these pieces right here, but that's a bad sign when you open up a trunk and that's already happened. This is kind of cool. I wish this was sealed. This is probably like 50 bucks on eBay. It's a car's racetrack. It's missing all the parts. Well, not all the parts. I don't see cars and stuff. That would have been a cool item. Clean erase. Clean erase. That's how I feel about storage units. Every new storage unit is a clean erase. You let this energy go, you buy a bad one, and you clean erase it. Take it right to the dumps if you have to. Is that Raggedy Ann? Raggedy Andy? It's Lynn. And Lynn. That doesn't make sense. Lynn must be the maker of that. That is a nice, that is a nice, that is a nice frame. We're not going to show its face. That's got to be 10, 15 bucks probably. Christmas decoration, an iron, we have an iron. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a guest appearance by the Salt Princess. What are you doing? Kendall, look at you, you look so beautiful. Got my hair. I make beautiful children. <laughs> oh, and we have a guest appearance by Jasmine too, ladies and gentlemen, this is unbelievable. This, this is, <laughs> well, you're right, you're right. I can't make all the kids in the world. What are you ladies doing? Look, we got painting cloths. Cover walls, that's like four bucks. Bro, this unit's priceless. Once again, this unit's priceless. This is exactly how we live our life, baby girl. A good life and hard time. Thoughts become things. Thoughts become things. I've manifested this to just come today when I needed to hear this, and this unit is now priceless. Priceless. It's Abercrombie and Flower. It's Abercrombie and Fitch. We'll just wipe away all the hard times like that. That was pretty dusty. Ooh, we got an antenna. A coaxial antenna. antenna. I was really hoping to see some really exciting stuff in these trunks. So far, we got vinyl wall base cover. Yeah. That was a this quick... Is a family. That was a quick... Do you want to help undo a little... Do an unboxing. Do one unboxing of these right here. No. Just open up the trunks one oh. time. No. Come, look at that lady. Come on, lady. Look at that beautiful face. She's shy. She's shy. I can't open it. Like this one. Wow! 
The other way. There you go. Look at you. What? Uh, what are these? What are these? They smell. What are they, baby girl? Records. Records. They smell? Yeah, they Did you, smell, so you smell, like smell it again? Did you just smell that? Smell like an old book. Oh, remember that? Yeah, remember that guy? Remember the time we sold uh, that collection of adult magazines for like um, 350 bucks and the guy found us 90, 200 bucks and he was smelling everything like that? No, I do not remember that. You do not remember sitting in the storage that day. We had the guy come there and he was sniffing everything like this. He was sniffing all the magazines like this. And then he found the aluminum can that was in the pile of metal and he said sn he sniffed it and oh, smelled We're going to go. Goodbye to the salt princess. She left with her girlfriend. You'll go back to unboxing by herself. Fugu for the piano. Corn. Ooh, this one probably, I feel like this one could be a good one. The Dave Brubeck Trio. Trios are good when they start getting into quintets and so forth and so on. Those are not as good. And Cordant has a decent record label because they're kind of rare. I would actually be interested to see if that one goes for, ooh, another one. Dave Trio. We're going to set these aside for our record guy. We have a record guy coming to look at some records later on. Set those all aside there, and the trunk will end up at the flea market. Arthur Murray teaches Boomba, Roomba. My guess are these ones are the better ones so far. Are probably decent, but these, like I said, these 78 collections, they do not sell for very well. They're not exactly in the highest of demand. I'm not saying throw away your 78s. For the risk of not sounding stupid, this one is actually completely empty filling, but I still have to look. Now that we got that off of there. <laughs> yeah, that's the way of life sometimes, stringing it together. Stringing it together, ladies and gentlemen. And so continues the curse of the locked safe. I tell you, ever since I found that safe with the 26 grand, I have been plagued by every single unit that has a trunk, it has a box, a wood crate, it has a safe, every single one. I, I bought a unit one time full of locked plastic totes. Every one of them was full of trash and paper. I paid $1,500 for that unit. You can see it. It's in my videos. Lost all the money on it. I lost like 1500 bucks. Literally, there was not enough to sell in there to even make any money. Very disappointing. Coleman Lantern. As disappointing as these trunks right here. Not what I expected. Not what I expected. When you see a unit sitting for so long, and it's just full of this. But you need to use this as a reference. That profiling can be very dangerous, and if you look at a unit and you think you see everything and you're like trunk look at this Ooh, a trunk it's dusty and you think everything in there is going to be legit this is the reality of it it's not does not work like this all the time so you have to be willing to risk it willing to risk it willing to risk it willing to go all in willing to lose to win now for the moment we've all been waiting for this box is one the one that we had intrigued and we stopped because we were in a press for time and i'm not sure what else is in there but this buck knife was in there this was a limited edition buck knife that was in there. I don't think we got this opened up. It's a chain. Collector showcase. That'll go in a, this will go, these type of things we put inside of a junk drawer lot on eBay. We'll take a bunch of weird little items. Like for instance, this would go Crockett Bass Club, established 1926. Belt buckle number 82. We'll either look that up or we'll go in a junk drawer lot on eBay. Don Williams. Mystery box, some call them. John Wayne. Some Swiss Army knives. Ooh, one little piece of silver. That is a silver one of those with a screw on it. That will end up in the junk drawer lot. Not the screw. Bo Cephas. 
Don't think that's gold. Suede, saver, for sometimes when you just gotta save things. Suede cleaner and conditioner, for sometimes when you gotta revamp them. What do we got here? Whoo, the most motivational dice I've ever seen. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. These dice speak everything. Get it. For it. Look at that. That is the most motivational dice I've ever seen. That's crazy. Get it. I like it. I don't know what to do with those. I'm thinking I'm going to put those in a mystery box, too. Those are going to go in a junk drawer lot on a mystery box. And there's a deer keychain that says Made in USA. America. America. We got America. What do we got here? We have... Oh, yeah. I think we saw this one the other day. That'll end up in the junk drawer lot. Mystery box, whatever you want to call them. D. Wolf's Jewelry. Custom jewelry in stock. And if you need to hit him up, he has a business card, so it's okay to put it out there. He wants his name out there. These are kind of neat. These must be painted. I'm going to have to put these up on eBay, possibly by themselves. If not, they will go in the junk drawer lot. But because they say they're made from a jeweler, made in USA is all they say on them. Look like they're gold painted. Look like they're gold painted. T-Boot Bolo. sure if we saw this one already wicked pony that looks like a gold painting too silversmith collection handmade hand graved that's nice i like to put belt buckles in lots or like i said junk drawer lots foot locker protector some brushes picture frames holders plate holders a leather pouch new home model 216 <laughs> I don't even know what those are what is this automatic can zigzag automatic can can Here. Thought that was gonna be something exciting. Ooh, look at that piece of costume jewelry. I like pink, it's not really my style. All jewelry goes on the lots on eBay, junk drawer lots. Ooh, piece something good in here. Hmm. I think that's gold. Ooh, come on. That is gold. Ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Look at that. That is gold. 14 carat. 14 carat. Right there. That was treasure in the darndest box in the weirdest place in so far one of the junkiest storage units. We have found gold right there. I am a lot more intrigued to go through this bag in this box. I'm gonna wait and we're gonna wait and finish this box, this bag, when we finish this box. Why? Because I want to be excited for the rest of this box and see what's in there and keep that energy hot. When you want to manifest, you need to keep energy extremely high. You want to, you want to focus on happiness, that feeling. So right now our energy is high. So let's go through this with that mindset. Leather, lotion. Leather, lotion. Paperwork, hashtag don't take a personal. Hashtag planner. We'll go through that in a second. Nails. This is what that bag was in. 
some DVDs, a wall hanger. Whoo! This is what you, another great love story right here. Another great love story. A very sad tale of Macaulay Culkin and getting attacked and passing. I think it was bees that made him die? No. Am I tripping? Was it something else? I forget. I just know he passed away and it was one of the saddest things ever in a movie when I watched when I was a child. Okay. Let's see what else is in this bag. Now I knew there was obviously jewelry in here, so I didn't want to wait right away. I want to take a minute to go slow down, see what we got, in hopes that we find something else. Right here we have a relic. Not like the not like a, a relic like Harold is, but a relic. Almost looks silver right there. Almost looks silver. This looks silverish. How do I disconnect it? Here we go. Ooh, we're dropping things. We are dropping things. Ooh, it's not silver. That came close to looking like silver. When I first looked in there, it has that look. It looks like silver. But when you look in here, it's obviously not. When you see the little breaks inside of the chains like that, it's an odd dead giveaway that there is no realness to it. They don't do that with sterling, silver, and gold. We dropped this on the ground. Luckily, it didn't break. That'll go in a costume lot on eBay. And... Sadly, we didn't get nothing else in there of value. Hmm. But one thing is for certain, we found gold. I am happy anytime I find gold. Sometimes you only find 10 bucks, sometimes you find 20 bucks. I'm gonna go home and weigh this in a little bit. We'll put in the end here what this weighed. But I think that this is probably at least five six grams gold's like 23 24 i think right now for 90 percent and that will be a pretty good chunk of 160 back so basically after going through those trunks in that one box this is basically what we come up with we've got these couple knives the belt buckles these all go on ebay you'll be able to see them on their storage auction pirate the gold chain and the buck knife this is all this is going to go get scrapped this is going to go on ebay the three Fire King bowls, we sold those for 20 already. I think there was one or two other things she brought home the cups. I don't think uh, Baby Girl's got those posted up yet. There was a slew of flea market stuff in that unit. Not nothing spectacular. You could see that whole entire flea market load from right there. There was some little bit of pictures to the side that you saw earlier in the reveal. And that little chunk right there, not the ice chest, but everything else, that's a flea market load. Pretty much we'll get rid of most of that because it's not a lot of junk. And then the rest will go haul off in one big load. We will see what that total becomes later on in a vlog or something. You have to stay tuned for that in other videos. But that should bring at least $200 in easily for that pile there. Oh, we got the tube. Let us not forget, let us not forget this box of tubes that we got inside of that storage unit. We got to list this to eBay too as well. So I'll probably try to get that listed soon. But we got so much stuff laying around. Things for eBay just laying around which make me stockpile. We're just stockpiling now. This is little things that the kids will do when they finish up the house. So that one, you know, will be all right. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Don't forget this wonderful book, Good Life and Hard Times. Everything just comes to you as a message in my life. That's how I, I believe. And you want to read what you see. Those words to me are everything right now. If you know how life is and what we do here at the Storage Auction Pirate entity right now. To me, that, that little, that is priceless. And I love anything that is priceless. Thanks for watching this video, everybody. I love you. Blessings. Hit the like button. Share the video. Comment something nice. Say like, hi, I love you, Storage Auction Pirate. Or, hey, thanks for this great video. Something, something positive and meaningful. Anything you want in the comment section, that would be great. I'm out of here. Blessings. Ah! So we're going to weigh this right now. 14, I think it is 14 karat gold. We're going to weigh it and see what it weighs on the scale. And it weighs 9.1 grams. That is spectacular. That's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system it's simply how we've existed i hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to be an accountant because it's safe in a business